Hi everyone, this is Ravi Gupta. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today we will be discussing how we can communicate to microservices uh, using the REST template. Okay, so this is the topic of today. So microservice communication is Spring Boot using the REST template. So you can say there is a one microservice and there is another microservice and how these microservices can communicate with each other. So today uh, we are going to discuss that thing. So first of all, uh, I just want to brief you about what is REST template and how we can use it to get the communication between the microservices. So here uh, I have noted down something. So what is REST template and how it is used? So REST template is a central spring class for the client size HTTP access. Okay, there is a concept of templating in the spring and it is based on the design pattern. So this REST template is a template used to make the HTTP REST calls. So whatever the APIs that we are going to call, so using the REST template, we can call that. So if once uh, one microservice is up and it needs the other microservice in itself, so using the REST template, we can call them. So uh, the third point is if you want to make a HTTP call, you need to create a HTTP client, pass request or form parameters set up access headers and perform on marsing of the response all by yourself but spring provides this template rest template and it wrap up all those things so that it's uh, take away the pain of the developer so this is why it's a uh, very much popular apart from this there is a couple of other ways to communicate with the microservices like using the finch client i already have a video in my channel for the finch client how we can communicate to microservices using the finch client and uh, there is a other way of uh, kafka also like one one microservices can communicate with the other one using the kafka as well so the kafka how we can communicate uh, i will be having a future video in that channel so yeah let's get started with the development guys i'm going to create two microservices microservice one and microservice two and uh, and then we'll try to see how they are communicating so i have intellij in my system for the ide and uh, i'm just going to open it we'll create two simple micro two simple microservices i would say i'm not going to uh, create the database i'm not going to use the service layer and all I'm just simply creating one microservices having one REST API and other microservices having the second REST API and then we are just going to call them. So here and if you need the detailed video like how we can create one microservices with the Spring Boot and uh, the MySQL as a database or PostgreSQL as a database then I already have the video in my channel. So you can refer there and then uh, the next concept you can continue from here okay so i'm just going to uh, do that okay so just let's start project and uh, let's let name is uh, just make it some changes okay microservices communication okay so here I'm going to create this microservice one post microservice I would say post microservice client next going to use the spring web okay and uh, nothing else because we are not going to connect with the database and all so i'm not going to use anything else so simply i'm having a starter dependency as a spring web and just creating this project new similar way uh, we can create the another project also also so second i would say second microservice client same dependency we need spring boot new 
the window. Just let it start. Uh, let's see if it is. It is not open in the Maven form, so I'm just waiting for that, or else I can close this project and reopen again. So I'm just close the first one. Let open again. Uh, first microservice client. Okay. Okay, just uh, wait for some time so that it can load and then we can open it in the form of a uh, Maven project. So yeah, here you can see it is coming, load Maven project. Same thing, uh, I just need to close down the uh, second one also and then uh, reopen it so that we can see uh, because it is not opening the Maven format. So just let it close and then try to reopen again. Okay, that is second microservice. Uh, what is that? Microservice communication. Second microservice client in the new window. So uh, the first one is uh, open, guys. So I'm just going to create one, I would say one controller class and then uh, try to create one API there. So I'm just going to create one controller, first controller or something like that. Okay, <coughs> I will just annotate it with the REST template, uh, sorry, REST controller and request, okay. Uh, let leave this request mapping for now I'm just going to create one get mapping and here I'm just going to make it like first and then sorry we'll be creating one method called get or something like yeah get get message It should be of uh, string, return type of a string. It will be returning a simple method, uh, sorry, simple message. Something like the hello or hi, something like a microservice one, I can say. So just uh, say it like microservice, first microservice client, something like that. First micro. So we name it like first microservice client and just returning this message okay and uh, similarly uh, I can create one uh, another rest controller in the second micro okay so first of all before going to the second microservices just uh, let me check if it is working fine or not so I'm just going to change this port number okay that is making 9091 and then try to run it So if it is working fine, we'll go to the second one, do some uh, development like this and try to call the second from the first or first from the second, something like that we can do. So it is up HTTP localhost 9091 uh, slash what was that? Just let me check. first okay so it is first so it is coming fine microservice first microservice client something like that is coming okay so uh, now going to the second microservice uh, I'm going to why it is coming like that okay load the maven we skip this okay so yeah just let open this and then try to create one controller here as well 
second microservice controller something like that or second micro yeah second controller second controller okay and here also i'm just going to create one uh, api get api i would say at the red get mapping public string uh, get message or something like get and then return first or second microservice client something like that second microservice client and then try to change the port number and then see 9092 Okay, we have made it like yeah okay here we just forget to okay just let me make it second and then try to run again sorry So if it is working fine then what I will do I will just uh, try to consume the first microservice in the second microservice okay so here it is up let me check if it is working fine or not so it was 9092 and this is second so it is coming fine okay so both microservices are uh, working as expected we created one get mapping uh, in each of the microservices and uh, we can see that both are working fine now what i will do i just try to consume the first microservice in the second microservice okay so uh, what is first working thing so wherever you are going to consume the uh, microservices so first of all we need to have some configuration okay so either you can create one configuration class or in the same uh, this spring boot application class we can also do this configuration okay so i'm going to just configure the rest template public <coughs> rest template and uh, uh, return types to be rest template and then it would return a new rest template object okay Mm -hmm. it's a return sorry yeah so this thing and then what we need to do we need to annotate it as a bean and as a primary okay and uh, now just i'm going yeah we are good with the first one uh, sorry second one we did the configuration and now we'll try to call the first API into the second API so here we can do that okay so for that calling the API I just need the rest template I just need the rest uh, template to be auto wired here so I'm just going to auto wire the rest template object rest template Okay, and using that I'm just going to call uh, the API so the return type of the first API or the second API both of them is a string right so I'm just going to uh, create a string object here and then using the rest template I'm object get for object and then here we need to provide the URL and uh, then we need to provide the uh, class like a string is a return type so I'm just going to make that class and then we are done so in str1 uh, the first uh, template would be so the first return type of uh, the first microservices like what microservice first is returning we are getting into the uh, str which is of a string type so the first microservice is just simply returning a string so that is why we are just catching up here in the string object and then 
we can also merge with this the return type of the second one and then see so I'm just going to concatenate this with the second microservices and then see what is coming like so here we need to provide the URL so what is the URL for the first microservices so you can come to this uh, and then see what was that it was 9091 and the first so till here we need to provide the URL and then directly we can call that okay so we are good now and then I will just try to run it and then see so whenever we are trying to fetch the second uh, microservice get mapping uh, method then we will get the uh, return type of both the string uh, the like microservice 1 and microservice 2 so just try to run it and then see so it is up now coming to the browser I'm just going to type the 9092 and the second and then you can see uh, first microservice client and then second microservice client so uh, we can see that we are able to call the microservice 1 in the microservice 2 using this rest template here we are calling with the help of uh, the the api right here we are calling with the help of the url but uh, in the sec in the other uh, service or uh, in the sorry in the in my other video i have already told how we can register these services using the eureka client a Eureka server so there you can see that uh, with we can register each of the services to the Eureka server and with the specific name so that service will be registered to the Eureka server with the, some specific name so what we can do if once we register these services to the Eureka server so with the specific name we can call one service into the other service not by the URL okay so that you can see in the videos that I have already uploaded how you can register microservices to the Eureka server so thanks for the video guys this is uh, this is the end of this video and let me know if you need such videos in the uh, next coming session and please subscribe my channel thanks